Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to do a comparison of updating systems that have been off for a while. So I have a virtual machine of Windows 10 and it was off since early May. And I already updated it, so I'm not going to do that on camera. And that took an hour. And then I have a Debian system that's been off since the end of April. And I'm going to update that on camera. But I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch the whole update. <laughs> and I also have an Arch Linux system that's been off since early May. So I'm going to also update that as well. Just to see what the comparison is all about. Okay? So, let's get to it. I'm in a virtual machine of Windows 10. And the last time I did an update was on May 11th. Now, as you can see, today is July 1st, so it's almost two months. Now you can see, I right here, I checked for the update at 10 to 7 in the morning, and it's now 10 to 8. So it took a full hour to update the system. And you know what, I was going to do this update on a uh, camera, and I was going to turn on a stopwatch. And for some reason, I thought it was going to take uh, two or three hours to do the update. So I didn't do it. And then I turned on the Windows. The Windows started updating. And I never got around to turning on my camera or the stopwatch. Now, of course, I wasn't going to keep the camera rolling. I was going to pause the camera because I'm not going to make a video of someone watching a Windows update for an hour. <laughs> but after the fact, I decided I would just do this. Just to show you that I checked for the update at 10 to 7. And now I'm in the system. It's up to date. And it's 10 to 8. So it took an hour. Okay. So like I mentioned, I already did the update for Windows 10. And I did that in another clip. So I'm going to patch it in. And also that Windows 10 update was in a virtual machine. But the Debian update... The Debian computer that's been off, it's a real bare metal computer. And it's been off since April 26th. And I also have an Arch Linux system and a real bare metal computer that's been off since May 5th. So I'm going to do those updates on camera. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do the Debian one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remote into my real bare metal computer that has Debian. Okay. Like I said, it's not a virtual machine. So I'm going to open Ramina and I'm going to log into my Acer 2. This is an Acer computer that has pure Debian on it. And like I said, it's been off since April 26th. And I'm running the GNOME desktop environment. Now, of course, it's an older GNOME because. Well, Debian runs older packages. And it's older because this Debian computer hasn't been updated since April. So I've remoted into it. And let's just open up a terminal. Let's go into Xterm. Let's make it full screen. And let's just do a uh, last reboot. Oh, it wasn't April 26th. <laughs> I was wrong. My bad. So the last time this computer was on was April 21st. So what I'm going to do is clear the screen. I'm going to do sudo apt update. I'm going to put my password in. And 120 packages can be upgraded. And should I do an... Let's do this. App list upgrade. Let's just see what's being upgraded. So we can see the kernel is going to be upgraded. So for sure I'm going to have to do a reboot. My time clock. So we're going to hit start. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make it full screen. And I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to do sudo apt upgrade. And I'm going to hit enter. So I'm just going to go and pause the video. So don't go away. I'll be back. So right now we've just passed the 52% mark. And let's take a look and see where we are. Let's go back to my stopwatch and we're at four minutes and 21 seconds. How about that?
Not bad, eh? So let's go back. And we're getting there. Anyways, I'm going to pause the video and come back. Okay, it's finished. Now I got an error code. So I don't think I'm going to be able to boot into the new system. But I still got the stopwatch running. So let's just see if this reboots. Sudo reboot. And of course, I've been disconnected because I was logged into the system. Okay, so we've updated our Debian system. We, I've rebooted into it and I paused the stopwatch. And of course, this is a real bare metal computer. Let's just open up a terminal. Let's make it full screen. Let's do an HTOP. Now remember, this is the GNOME desktop environment. That's not bad. Running at 900 megabytes of RAM, 800 now. So we're running at 868 megabytes of RAM. Not bad for Debian, which runs a bit higher than Arch. And not bad since we're running the GNOME desktop environment. Let's close it. Oh, and let's check out the stopwatch. Let's go here. Let's go back to my recording computer. So what I did was I updated my Debian computer. And as soon as I rebooted into my updated Debian system, I came over here and paused the stopwatch. And it took 10 minutes. So it took 10 minutes to do a complete update, including a reboot, in my Debian system that hadn't been updated since April. Okay. So let's go back to my uh, Debian system. I know it says VM down here. That's just a name for my workspace. This is actually a real bare metal computer that I've remoted into. So let's do a uh, X term. Let's make it full screen. Let's do a uh, Neo fetch. So we can see I'm on Debian. So now we're on GNOME 43.9. Okay, and it's Debian 12 Bookworm, and the system's up to date. So now I'm going to disconnect from here. And now I'm going to log into another real bare metal computer that's running Arch Linux, and that would be my Dell 3. So let's remote into it, and let's do a Neo Fetch. So we can see this one's running GNOME 46.1, and we can see this is running Arch Linux. And it's my Dell number three computer. And let's close that. Let's do last reboot. So this computer was last updated on May 5th. How about that? So let's see how long it takes. Let's clear the screen. Oh, and I got to go back and do. Uh... Let's go back to my stopwatch. So it took 10 minutes and 41 seconds for uh, my Debian. Let's clear it. Let's start it. And let's go back to, and of course it's not a virtual machine, even though it says VMs on the workspace. I just have the workspace labeled VM. So let's do sudo pacman-syu. Put my password in and Houston, we have a problem. Huh, what is this? Okay, you know what? I think I know what the problem is. And actually, you know what? I should stop the stopwatch. Because <laughs> this shouldn't count. But before I do that, oh, okay. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clear the screen. Let's do sudo pacman slash etsy pacman conf. And what I'm going to do is so in the Pac-Man configuration, I have three apps that I don't want the system to update. And the reason why is uh, the current version of Ramina won't allow me to remote into my system at work. So that's why I have these three packages on ignore. But these last two, I think, being on ignore are causing a trouble. So I'm going to delete those and I'm going to save this. So I'm still going to leave Ramina in there on ignore, but the RDP and the RDP2, I don't need to be on ignore. And I think that's causing the problem. So let's see now if I still get that error message. Let's hit enter. Ah, okay. <laughs> 
I knew that was going to fix it. So let's see here. How many packages do, are we updating? Wow. 465 packages are being updated. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, maybe not. <laughs> 465 packages. So my Debian was off since April 21st. And it was 120 packages to update. This has been off since May 5th. And there's 465 packages to update. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, let's go back to the bottom. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to clear the screen and do that again. So what I'm going to do is, let's, let's do this. Let's go and reset the uh, stopwatch. It's already at four and a half minutes. Let's pause it. Let's clear it. Okay, brought it back to zero. Let's start it. And let's go back here. Let's make this full screen. And let's do this again. Let's hit yes. And here we go. And uh, I'm going to pause the video. This is probably going to take about 10 minutes as well. I don't know. The Windows one took an hour. <laughs> So, I'll pause the video and come back and uh, don't go away. Okay, so we're done. So, just as I got to the end of my update, I got disconnected from my remote session. I left the clock running and I let the update finish. I rebooted the system, logged into GNOME, and then I came and stopped the clock. And then after I stopped the clock, I had to remote into the system because I don't have my camera and my microphone hooked up to that computer. So the only way I can record that computer is if I'm is when I remote in. So it took four minutes and 20 seconds. And now the Debian one was, well, and the Debian one took 10 minutes and the Windows one took an hour. I'm just going to go to Workspace 5 and this is it here. Let's open up a terminal. Let's make it full space. Let's do a Neo fetch. So you can see we're running Arch Linux. We've been up for four minutes. And I'm on GNOME 46.3.1. Let's clear the screen. Let's do an HTOP. And I'm using one point, well, one gig. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to disconnect from my remote session. Let's disconnect. Let's close this. So this was just a uh, short video. Uh, what I intended to do is when I was updating Windows, I wanted to record it and time it. But I so I, I opened Windows and it accidentally started updating automatically or automatically started updating. And... I wasn't recording. Uh, you know, I didn't have my uh, recording equipment on or anything. So, like I said, it took an hour to update Windows. My Windows 10 system hadn't been updated since early May. It took an hour. My Debian system, as you saw, hadn't been updated since April 21st, and it had 120 updates, and that took 10 minutes. And my Arch Linux system hadn't been updated since May 5th, and it had 465 packages to update, and that took four and a half minutes. Not bad. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.